It's said that Benjamin Disraeli in the British Parliament was a great orator, a great speaker. A new politician joined the House and wanted some advice from the great man. And he said, can you give me some advice on presenting speeches? And Disraeli said to him, yes, speak often, but speak shortly. Speak often, but speak shortly. Why shortly? Because no matter how good a speaker is, once they get out over a certain length of time, unless they have audience interaction and perhaps some visuals, even 20 minutes is too long. Why do I mention this? Not long ago, I went to a Toastmasters event where there was a schedule and where it was supposed to start at 10 o'clock and finish at 12.15 with a break in the middle, a tea break. All very good. So what happened? The sergeant at arms got up and called everyone to order and this was fine. Then the first speaker got up gave a very interesting educational presentation, which went a few minutes over. Now you might think, so what? What's a few minutes over? But then the second speaker thinks, well, I'm not going to let that person dig into my time. So they speak and inadvertently go a little bit over. By the time the third speaker gets up, They've already forgotten about time and they go way over. And this is what happened at this event. It got to 10 past 12 with five minutes to go and there were still two speakers to present plus a vote of thanks. That was the time I got up and left. I had to do so because I'd promised that in the afternoon I would take my wife over to my daughter's place and I needed the time to be able to drive home from where I was and then drive back over there doing this task which I had to do this afternoon. The point I'm making is this. The biggest crime or the biggest fault that a speaker can make is this. Not turning up at a meeting when they're expected to do so and not informing the person who arranges the speakers that they can't make it. That's the first one. What's the second one? Going over time. It's done so often. Going over time. There is a story told, and I've told this before, about a great speaker who was scheduled to speak after six other speakers. He was the keynote. He was supposed to come on at nine o'clock at night and then speak for half an hour. But throughout the day, every speaker went over. And by the time his slot came along, it was five to ten in the evening. So he got up and he said this, ladies and gentlemen, I've decided that I have two speeches to give to you and I'm going to give them both. And you can imagine a big groan went up from the audience. He said, here's my first speech. Thank you for inviting me along. Here's my second speech. Thank you very much for inviting me along. I can see that I, I've imposed on your time a little bit too much this evening, so good night. And that was it. They'd all come along to listen to this person, but he was out of time. Point I'm making is this. If every speaker goes over their allotted time, the time is always extended by a long shot at the end. People will walk out. They have other things to do. So remember the second worst thing you can do as a speaker, go over time and don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it.